Welcome to Electro Online, and here's the first example of how we utilize the concept of Newton's third law in applying to a problem like this. So here we're requested to draw all the forces on M2, which is the mass wedged between the table and a mass on top of it. So how do we do that? Well, let's start uh, with um, uh, the force due to gravity on M2, which is this force right here, which would be M2g, which is equal to the weight of M2. Now, it would be uh, tempting to then immediately draw the reactionary forces as well. For every force acting on something, there's a reactionary force equal in magnitude opposite direction, which is Newton's third law, and you would like to draw the normal force pushing back. But it turns out that's not the only force pushing down on the table, because there is a, another force, which is the weight of M1 pushing down on M2. So this would be M1g pushing down, and then you realize that it's the weight of M1 and the weight of M2 that's pushing down on here. So really what we should do is realize that this is the sum of M2g plus M1g pushing down on the table. It's not just the weight of M2g, it's the weight of both of them together. Now we can draw the normal force. Now we say, okay, now there's a reactionary force pushing back, the normal force, and now you realize that the magnitude of the normal force is equal to the sum of the weight of these two, which would be m2g plus m1g. So now you can see that all the forces acting on m2 are the weight of m1 pushing down, the weight of gravity pulling down on m2, and I can go ahead and use a different color for that. So we can say that here we have the weight of just m2g, but notice that that's not the only thing pushing down on the table. It is, so the total weight pushing down on the, on the table is the sum of the two weights. Now that we understand that, let's take M2 and pull it to the side and draw a free body diagram of M2 alone. Let's see what we get. So we're going to go ahead and pull this to the side. So here's M2, and now let's go ahead and draw all the forces acting on it. So here we have the weight of M1 pushing down on M2, M1g. Here we have the weight due to gravity on M2g. And then we have the normal force pushing back, like so, the normal force, which the magnitude of the normal force is equal to M2g plus M1g. And there's a clear picture of how all the forces are acting on M2. So notice that sometimes it gets a little confusing, but if you draw it as a free body diagram by itself, you realize that this weight and this weight are pulling or pushing M2 down. The normal force is pushing back up. Since the sum of these two is equal to N, there's no net force, no acceleration, and M2 stays right where it is. And that's how you look at Newton's third law acting on a set of bodies like that.